Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering programs for three-dimensional array, transpose of a matrix. Guys, I have uploaded complete PPS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Before starting this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. First, I will explain program for three-dimensional array. For example, if you consider two-dimensional array, in two-dimensional array, it contains only two dimensions, where first dimension represent rows and second dimension represent columns. That means total I can store 2 into 2. That means I can store 4 elements. Let elements be 1, 2, 3, 4. This is how two-dimensional array looks like. But in three-dimensional array, it contains three dimensions. This is an example of three-dimensional array. Here I given A of 2 into 2 into 2. That means total I can store 2 into 2, 4 and 4 into 2, that is 8. I can store 8 elements. Let elements be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is how we represent 3 dimensional array. I will explain 3 dimensional array program. At first, I written hash include hdevo.h. After that, I written void main. Inside void main, I written int a, where a is array name. Inside square brackets, I written 2 into 2 into 2, where these two represents first dimension, these two for second dimension, and these two for third dimension. This represents 3 dimensional array 2 into 2, 4, and 4 into 2, 8. Total, I can store 8 elements in this 3 dimensional array. Let 8 elements be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are the 8 elements that I am going to store in this 3 dimensional array. I want to print output along with index numbers. So for that purpose, here I took 3 for loops. This first for loop is for first dimension, second for loop is for second dimension and third for loop is for third dimension. Here I given size as 2. That means it will store 2 elements. First element is in index number 0 and second element in index number 1. So here I return for int i equal to 0 semicolon i less than 2 semicolon plus plus i. Similarly, for the second dimension I return int j equal to 0, j less than 2, plus plus j. And for this third dimension, I return here int k equal to 0, a less than 2, and plus plus k. Inside this, we need to write printf open double quotations a of percentage d for first dimension, next percentage d for second dimension, and percentage d for third dimension. That equal to percentage d. This is for element. First dimension is i. So, this is for i and the second dimension is for j and third dimension is for k is equal to percentage d. This is for element. These are the elements present in this three dimensional array. Now I want to print this element. So for that purpose, I written here percentage d that belongs to a of i j k will be printed as output. By writing this program, I will get output as this is output for this three dimensional array. We open three for loops so that we need to close this three for loops and at last this curly bracket is for void main. This is how we write three dimensional array program. Next, I will explain program for transpose of a matrix. Before that, you need to know what is transpose of matrix. For example, this is two cross two matrix. It contains elements like one, two, three, four. It contains two rows and two columns. So it is two cross two matrix. Now I want to find transpose for this matrix. Let this matrix be A. Now I want to find A transpose. Transpose is nothing but we need to represent columns as rows. For example, this is first column. This first column contains 1 and 3. Now we need to represent this column as rows. So I need to write here 1, 3. And similarly, second column as second row, 2, 4. Now we call it as transpose of matrix. I will explain program for transpose of a matrix. Here I written int a, where a is array name. And inside square brackets, I written 2, where these two represent rows and these two represent columns. 2 into 2, that means total I can store 4 elements. Let 4 elements be 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the 4 elements 1, 2, 3, 4, where this 0 represent first row and this 0 represent first column. Similarly, this 1 represent second column and this 1 represent second row. Here I written A of 0 into 0, that means value which is present in first row and first column will be printed as output. So I will get output as 1. And similarly, 0, 1, that means value which is present in second row, first column will be printed as output. So, I will get output as a of 0, 1 equal to 2 and similarly a of 1, 0 equal to 3 and a of 1, 1 equal to 4. I want to print output like this. Let int i represent rows and int j represent columns. Here total there are two rows and two columns where this row starts with 0 and end with 1. Similarly, column start with 0 and end with 1. Here I took two for loops. This for loop is for row and this for loop is for column. Here rows and columns starts with 0 and ends with 1. So here I written here int i equal to 0, i less than 2, i plus plus. Similarly, j equal to 0, j less than 2 and j plus plus. Inside this I written printf a of percentage d. This percentage d is for row i and similarly this percentage d is for column j that equal to percentage d. 
this percentage d is for value in order to get output as value i need to write a of ij by writing this i will get output as a of 0 0 equal to 1 a of 0 1 equal to 2 a of 1 0 equal to 3 and a of 1 1 equal to 4 now i want to find transpose of a matrix in order to store transpose of a matrix i need to take another matrix int b and size as 2 cross 2 semicolon in order to store transpose here i took int b size as 2 cross 2. for example this is our matrix that is 1 2 3 4 i should get transpose as 1 3 2 4 similarly take two for loops whatever the for loops that you took before you take same for loops transpose is nothing but we need to interchange rows and columns so for that purpose i written here b of ij is equal to a of ji now in order to print output for that purpose again we need to write two for loops for of inside this you need to write print f double quotations b of percentage d percentage d is equal to percentage d slash in double quotations close comma i comma j comma b of ij by writing this entire code you will get output as this is output this is output for transpose of a matrix guys you need to remember one main formula that is b of ij is equal to a of ji this is formula in order to find transpose of a matrix 